handoff to the ground launch sequencer. We have a go for auto sequence start. The ground launch sequencer has handed off to Columbia. The shuttle now controlling. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. The SRB nozzle gimbal profile is now underway. T minus 10. We have go for main engine start. Seven, six, go for main engine start. Four, three, two, one. And lift off. Lift off on Columbia and it's return to flight. This is Mission Control Houston Roll Program initiated. Good roll program confirmed for Columbia. Three main engines up and running. Currently throttling down to 97% and uh, throttling down now to 65% on the three main engines for the passage through maximum dynamic pressure. Altitude 18,000 feet, downrange about one nautical mile. Throttles confirmed by the flight dynamics officer. Columbia has just been given the go at throttle up call by mission control. Altitude 62,000 feet. Downrange about seven nautical miles. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells, three good main engines, current altitude 100,000 feet, downrange 13 nautical miles. Standing by for SRB separation, and we have SRB separation. Downrange 30 nautical miles now, 187,000 feet. Velocity is 4,300 feet per second. Columbia now on the proper glide slope on center line, lined up uh, for the touchdown on runway 17 left. Altitude is about 8,000 feet. The range another four nautical miles. They're traveling about 288 knots right now. About a minute and three seconds to touchdown. Altitude 1,100 feet now, range about one and a half nautical miles. Gears down and locked on Columbia. Touchdown. And nose gear touchdown for Columbia as she rolls out on runway 17 left at Edwards Air Force Base.
the mechanical systems officer here in Mission Control reports good braking on Columbia as she rolls to a stop at a mission lapse time of five days, one hour, zero minutes, and 56 seconds.